if I am presently fighting the serpent, right, is this fight biblical or historical? Because how do you know what's happening if it's spiritual in nature? How would you know if I don't explain what's happening? So if I am a person who knows definitions, then wouldn't I be a person who defines, okay, so let's say define. To determine or identify the essential qualities or meaning of. So see, if, how can, the serpent be wise see let's see see because we you know some ain't run right with what's being said if i have to be as wise as a serpent then the serpent has to be wise so the definition of wise is characterized by wisdom so I'm now defining the serpent. So where's the wisdom? Wouldn't the wisdom be mine? See, wouldn't I be the one characterized by wisdom? And wouldn't the serpent now be identified by the criminality of the crime? See, well, where would be the wisdom if the serpent is not caught? So now, shouldn't we have to go to the scripture that says that I have to be as wise as a serpent, but as humble as a dove, and then, I mean, as harmless as a dove, and then analyze it in this spiritual battle? See, now, if I'm now the victim, and I'm now writing the story, then wouldn't I now be able to, 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 okay, let's see, wisdom, characterized. Now, this would be characterized to describe the character or quality of. So that's what I'm doing, right? I'm giving you a lawsuit. Let's, let's, let's break it all the way down. I ain't no, we here, we might as well. What else we doing? See, that's what I'm saying. If you don't spend your time wisely, how you spending your time? Right? Either you spending your time wisely or somebody spending your time, right? It's only one or two things. You spending time and you getting paid for time you spending. But somebody is paying for everybody's time. And that's why when I had the serpent who was paying me, violating me, then I became... I, well, I defeated the serpent so I can then pattern my way of life. So when Jesus say, I am the truth, the light, and the way, well, well, what is, okay, the lawsuit, a suit in law, a case before a court. So now, if Jesus was brought before Pontius Pilate, was Jesus a, a case or was he a suit? <laughs> See, look, the definition of lawsuit is a suit in law. Now, let's let's break down suit. A set of garments such as an ensemble of two or more usually matching outer garments such as a jacket, vest, or trouser. Now, I say that because when you go to church, is not everybody dressed up? Everybody in their nice suits. So is Jesus a suit that you wear to church? If if you take Jesus to church in your mind, aren't you dressed in Jesus' garments mentally? See, you don't want to see the spiritual battle as a spiritual garment because that's what you say your shield is. So now, if your shield is made of a man 
that was created from a God and then put into a virgin who had never known a man, then wouldn't your mind not know the serpent went before it enters? You're a virgin. You haven't lived. You haven't experienced anything. So how would you know the deceiver if you lusting over the deception? Right? So if you poor, then wouldn't it be easy for you to, to forsake knowledge? So let's see, like, let's go forsake. See, because you poor, right? You need money. You don't need morals. <laughs> see, to renounce or turn away from entirely your, your morals. See, so you would forsake your morals for money. See, that's why at the end of your conception is evil. Right? Because you will take money over knowledge. See, now me, I'll take knowledge over money. That's why I'm as wise as the serpent. Because the serpent thought that money would get the serpent out of the serpent's ignorance. But only if I saw money more valuable than my mind. But because my mother and my father taught me that I make money, money don't make me, then why would I take money in lieu of who I am? You see, you see what I'm, I'm saying? Well, I just made myself worth more than money because money is your creation and I created myself. See what I'm saying? Like my mother them gave me this body, but I use my mind to give me this life. See what I'm saying? So I was born in the condition that my mother and father was in, but when I became a father who had a wife who begot children, then I put my children in a better position because I was in a better mental condition than my parents. See, I wasn't on alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug addict. So all of my money, time, and effort went into growing my family, not getting high. Now, I'm saying, hey, man, if that's what you do, do what you do. But I think that you should look at the children you creating and look at what conditions you creating for them to grow in. But then again, do a, do a drug addict really understand the conditions of being an addict? Because once they get what they searching for is that high. Do they not understand that the kids searching for food just like they searching for that high? See, but when the devil enters into your mind, you're no longer human. See, that's why mothers don't nurture their children because they're trying to get high. Their minds has been altered. See, so if we do not cleanse the mind, how can we save the soul? Wouldn't the soul have to be saved by the information entered into the ear? So wouldn't that mean that somebody's mind has to speak clearly about a situation so the conditions of the mind can change? See, if I didn't read a hundred books, then I couldn't write a hundred books, right? But I could write a hundred um, parables, <laughs> you see what I'm saying, in book form, but I wrote emotion in book form. So now, let's say emotion.
Now, the legal definition is a proposal for action. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm telling you. The Declaration of Independence and uh, your Bill of Rights, the United States Constitution or your state constitution is a motion. See, by definition. See, so this is what I'm saying. If I'm a descendant of people who were denied the right to read and write, then do the descendants of those people not see the importance of what I'm doing being thorough, breaking it down to its smallest de definition? See, not its smallest detail, because you still see, okay, let me show you what I'm talking about, detail. See, if I, even if I break it down in detail, you still won't know what I'm talking about if I don't define it. So I'm going to show you detail, extended treatment or attention to a particular, to, to particular items. So uh, if freedom is an item, which is a distinct part in, in a, numer a numeration, numeration, excuse me, account or series, right? So that's a number, right? Num numeration, the act or process of making or stating a list, see, or thing one after another. So if I then take the truth out of any step in my numeration, right? Then what is the process for my great, 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 great grandchildren? How would they know that I took the truth out of the process until they start walking in my footsteps. See, see, this is what I'm saying about Moses, right? If Moses started the Exodus, who started the war? Right? If Moses was in the wilderness for 40 years and he took on a wife, he had a father-in-law. So Moses didn't go out in the wilderness to fight. How? He was out there 40 years. The man uh, 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 established a life for himself in the wilderness. But he thought about his people just like I did. See, I'm working, but you think I don't see my family's struggles? I'm trying to help them. But see, this is the thing about a person who is in denial. See, they take help, but they don't use the help they take. See what I'm saying? And that's when I had to learn that you can handicap somebody by giving them help. See, okay, say you hurt yourself and you get crutches. Well, once you heal what you need the crutch for, you can walk again. But how about if you now feel safer with the crutches? Do you now not understand that whatever was hurt has gotten weaker because you failed, you using the crutch and not what the leg? So if you swing the leg, your arms are going to get stronger, but that leg going to get weak. That's why you have to go to rehab so you can strengthen the muscles around the damaged part that wasn't being used while you healing. So you will have one leg bigger than the other because you still using that leg and the other leg is healing. So when you go to therapy, you have to work this one, that whatever leg out or whatever arm or whatever, whatever that hurt area is, you have to get it back strong, right? But how do you rehab a mind if you don't have the time to waste, right? Say if you fallen or, or better yet, if you in free fall, let's see, free fall. See, let me see, free, okay, free fall. The definition of free fall is the condition of unrestrained motion in a, a gravitational field. See, so you, that means you falling in a gravitational field, right? No, okay, let's say gravitational. A force manifested by acceleration towards each other of two free 
material particles, particles or bodies or of radiant energy uh, uh, quota, quota, right? Now, so that means if you in your mind and you just there in space, right, then you are limited in your mind's uh, universe. So you just, it's like, you're not allowing nothing in, so how can you get out? And what you allowing to enter in to your mind is what's trapping you in space. See, so if your mind is um, trapped, and you do not educate the lock, then you entrap your mind within the trappings of the deception that you allow to go into your mind and then give your uh, intellect um, bad information. So now, if you intelligent, but the information is toxic, then your intelligence has to be used to see the toxicity in the information that you digest. So if you eat poison, your body is going to try to reject it. But the poison, because you ingested it, is going to take over your immune system. So if your mind has not consumed something of use, then your mind is not going to be useful.